in this illustration, we will discuss about the apparent depth through a plano convex lens. We are given that a plano convex lens has a thickness 4 centimeter, when it is placed on a horizontal table with curved surface in contact. The apparent depth of the lens is found to be 3 centimeter, and if lens is inverted, its apparent depth is found to be 25 by 8 centimeter. We are required to find the radius of curvature of this lens. Here, in initial stage, we can say if a plano convex lens is placed with curved surface in contact with the surface at the bottom. Here we can see on looking from the top, its actual width is 4 centimeter, but its apparent depth is found to be 3 centimeter. For this observer who is looking onto the lens from the top, here we can say the apparent depth is found to be 3 centimeter, which can be written as 4 centimeter by refractive index, which will Give us as a result the refractive index of the glass used in making this lens, which is 4 by 3. And if the plano convex lens is inverted and it is placed like this, again the actual width is 4 centimeter. And if someone looks into it from the top, here we can see in this situation. The observer will see the image of this bottom point, and this bottom point can be considered as an object, which is located at a distance 4 centimeter from the pole or optic center of this spherical surface. Here we use refraction formula. For apparent depth, as in this situation, we use it as mu two by v minus mu one by u is equals to mu two minus mu one by r, where the value of mu one we take as four by three because light rays goes from glass to air. Here we take mu two as one. As the refractive index of outside medium air we take as 1. In this situation, u is the object distance with respect to this optic center, it is at a depth of 4 centimeter below this, so it can be written as minus 4 centimeter. And image distance is the apparent depth which is given as 25 by 8 centimeter, so we take it as minus 25 by 8 centimeter. And radius of curvature as its center of curvature is below point O, R we can take as minus R, of which the value we are required to find. Then on substituting the values here, we can see this mu2 is 1, V is minus 25 by 8, so this minus 8 by 25 minus this is 4 by 3 multiplied by this becomes plus 4. Is equals to mu two minus mu one is one minus four by three by minus r. If we simplify this, it will give us one by three r is equal to. This can be written as one by three minus eight by twenty five. So further, if we take LCM to be seventy five, this will give us twenty five minus twenty four. This one by 75. So, in this situation, the value of radius of curvature we are getting is here you can see the value of radius of curvature we are getting is 25 centimeter. That will be the answer to this problem.